Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV for a detailed breakdown on the Fox Racing V1 helmet available at Revzilla.com. So the Fox Racing V1 is the entry level dirt helmet in Fox's lineup. Around that $170 price point, you're looking at a helmet that's going to get you into the dirt world without a huge investment. Now there's an entire line of V-series helmets. The bump up from this would be the V2. Getting up into something like the V2 is going to give you better venting. It's also going to go from a polycarb shell up to a fiberglass shell. So again, keep that in mind. With this helmet, what we're really looking at, again, is going to be a helmet that's going to do a great job of getting you into the world of dirt riding. Now, throughout the entire Fox lineup for 2016, it's important to keep in mind they made a change. They've gone away from a Snell safety rating and they've incorporated an ECE safety rating, still DOT rated. What this allows them to do is it allows them to give you a lighter dirt helmet. This one, when I threw it on the scale, the V1 in an extra large in front of me, came in right around three pounds, five ounces. Super lightweight for a polycarb shell. And again, when you're out there on the track, weight really matters, especially in the dirt world. Now, the other thing to keep in note, the actual fitment for this. It's gonna be intermediate oval leaning to the neutral side. So it's a little bit rounder as opposed to long oval. Still gonna work for the majority of the American market out there, but it's important to keep in note, one of the places where I really noticed this helmet kind of fitting a little bit differently was right along the chin. It's a little bit snugger. And I think one of the things you can really see Fox doing is they're aiming this more for that teenage market. Again, for that entry level rider, probably gonna be in the teenage world getting into the dirt for the first time. You can notice it's just a little bit snugger down into the chin bar area. Area. Now, as far as the construction is concerned, what we're looking at with the V1, polycarb shell, three different shell sizes, four different EPS liners. This is going to allow them to get the helmet a little bit snugger, a little bit sleeker, not going to be as big and bulky, giving that big mushroom head look with those different components all into place. So even though we're looking at, again, the entry level helmet in the V1 lineup, this is still going to have a lot of nice detail to it. The other thing we're going to see is venting. And this is really where you're going to see the V1 kind of coming in. Right at that beginner level, you're going to have nine vents up front. It's going to help to push airflow through. You're going to have four, brands, four vents up on the brow. And as I move the, the visor up and down, you can see you're going to have two vents right at the base or right at the top of the brow. And then up a little bit higher along the top of the head, you're going to have two more vents. You're going to have vents along the chin bar, again, just helping to push everything through. When we open up the inside of the helmet, we pull that liner out, you're going to see exactly where those channels come into play. Now turning it around, again, that adjustable peak visor on this, you can kind of set it where it works best for you, both to block the sun as well as to just kind of not catch on the air. I know I like mine all the way up, otherwise it just catches the way I ride and it pulls up on me. But you do have that adjustment available with the V1. Around the back, you're going to see those four exhaust vents, two at the top, two at the bottom. Not so much the Venturi effect that you're going to see in the street world. Really what this is going to be is more of a ram air effect. When you're out there on the dirt track, you're not moving quite as fast. You're really relying on that air to just push through, push to the back, and then it needs a place to go. Again, $170 price point with the V1, and there's still a lot of features baked in here as far as a solid base level entry helmet. As we pull this apart, what you're going to notice, first and foremost, the cheek pads on this and I commented earlier to Ed in the studio, we were talking about this helmet. The cheek pads are super easy in, super easy out, especially compared to some of my more expensive helmets. You have three main snaps holding the cheek pads into place. They're just base cheek pads. They're just gonna be a nice, dense foam to it. If you wanna bump up to something that's gonna be micro, antimicrobial rather, you wanna take a look at the V2. Still nice sweat wicking, but again, just a basic cheek pad for the V1. And as I pull out both sides, you're gonna see the chin bar on that. Really nice finish to the chin bar. Really nicely done, nicely finished throughout. They don't really cheap out on that. And as I rip out the interior on this, you're gonna have two snaps below the occipital ridge in the back. And then you're gonna have two brow snaps, which are simply going to hold it in place nicely. And as I take a look at the actual liner itself, one of the things to note, base liner. Single density, really kind of a lightweight to it, not going to breathe air as much through. When you get up into the higher level liners, they use more complex materials and they're going to simply be designed to push airflow through more. So again, very base liner with the V1 that we're going to see. Now, taking a look at the inside, 
First and foremost, you're gonna see those vent channels. You can see the vent holes that I'm talking about. You can see those channels kind of come into play. And you're gonna notice, again, just the size of those vent holes. When you bump up, you're gonna get massive vent holes in something like the V2, the V3, the V4. The other thing you're gonna notice, single density EPS liner. Bumping up is gonna get you different density EPS liners in some of the higher levels, the V3, the V4. You get MIPS technology, multi-directional impact protection, and that's gonna help you with rotational impact. Again, the V1 is gonna be that entry level helmet, single EPS liner, and really gonna do the job of getting you onto the track without breaking your bank. Really, this is gonna be your entry level into the dirt world without that huge upfront investment. Now, there's a lot of riders out there rocking Fox helmets. If you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button. Read what other Fox Helmets riders are rocking out there on their dirt tracks. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the detailed breakdown of the Fox Racing V1 Helmet. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.